Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO's, announced on Twitter on January 7 he will hike the price of Tesla's full self-driving package, known as FSD, from $10,000 to $12,000 on January 17 in the United States. Furthermore, Tesla plans to increase the FSD subscription fee by an unspecified amount, with the current fee of $199 a month. Watch the video to learn more and see what Tesla fans have to say. Welcome to the Tesla News Hangout, and today, we will be discussing the price hike on Tesla's full self-driving package. Tesla's full self-driving feature is the latest in its series of driver assistance software. Using the term fully autonomous may not be accurate, but with the software, there will be fewer driver inputs than ever before. Tesla vehicles have had autopilot for many years, but it only worked in certain circumstances. Tesla's website describes the autopilot service as including automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, lane keeping and adaptive cruise control, which matches your car's speed to the speed of traffic around you. All of Tesla's new vehicles, including the Model S, X, Y, and 3, come standard with autopilot, the company's standard driver assistance package. The FSD is a significant improvement that allows Tesla vehicles to operate with only a small amount of driver input, even in cities with traffic lights. It allows the driver to select an off-ramp and have the car automatically drive to that off-ramp on freeways. You can even switch freeways if you agree, including changing lanes. Drivers can even summon their vehicles from parking spots. You can stand outside a car park and the car will pick you up. This is only available over short distances as the car would obviously be empty. In addition, it warns the driver when traffic lights and stop signs are present and slows down accordingly. However, it does not have the capability to turn at intersections without human intervention. FSD is currently only available as a beta version. This software is not yet complete, and users who sign up will receive regular software updates as the software is improved. For users in the United States, it costs either $10,000 upfront or $199 per month. FSD is not a new concept. In the past, about 200 customers and employees had access to the service. The beta program, however, is significantly larger and will result in a large increase in users. Regardless of whether its users increase or not, its FSD price is increasing and it hasn't been the first time. Tesla's FSD price in the US rose to $12,000 on Monday, Musk wrote on Twitter, where he has 69.2 million followers. As FSD production code is released, the price will increase, he added. Musk responded to a follower who inquired about Tesla's FSD subscription service, which costs $199 per month for most customers by saying, subscriptions will rise when FSD is made available to the general public. He also teased the FSD beta program, which invites select drivers who meet Tesla's requirements to take advantage of more advanced features. In its earnings reports, Tesla doesn't reveal exactly how many customers pay for FSD upfront or subscribe to FSD each quarter, so it's unclear how much a price hike in the US could boost its margins in the future. Rather than the usual excitement for the next step in developing level 4 autonomy, when a car becomes effectively a robotaxi, even his staunchest supporter was shocked and disappointed. Why not wait until FSD reaches level 4? Asked Tesla bull Gary Black, while Rob Mora, host of the popular Tesla Daily Podcast, simply tweeted an astonishing emoji in response. Similarly, blogger Omar Kazi's whole Mars account urged must to bring back the lower-priced enhanced autopilot, Heap, arguing it could eventually lead to upselling among satisfied customers. Some people just want auto lane change and don't care to test the beta. But EAP can be a gateway drug to FSD. Here are the two biggest reasons for the criticism of this price hike. Number 1. Way behind schedule. According to investors, FSD software can generate more incremental profit than the sale of a Tesla car, supporting the company's $1 trillion valuation, more than the next nine largest automakers combined. The reason why FSD is so controversial is that Musk used a fear of missing out strategy. His repeated warning to customers was that the cost of the feature would only increase over time as improvements were made to the software. Since he last increased the price from $2,000 to $10,000 in October 2020, there have been no new features added for the US market. The hike was justified by the addition of auto steer on city streets, 
which is in beta testing by a select group of Tesla owners, while most FSD customers are still waiting for it to be added. Musk once predicted that 1 million Tesla Robotaxes would be circulating by the end of 2020, making money for their owners. He has now been more than a year late in delivering on his promise to US Tesla owners. Customers outside the country are still waiting for even a promised date. Accordingly, FSD is currently only level 2, which means it is not fundamentally different from any other driver assist feature found in competitors' models, since they all require constant supervision and monitoring. In a podcast interview with Lex Fridman at the end of December, Musk acknowledged that the development of full autonomy is proving much more challenging than expected. There are now many customers who want to trade in their aging Teslas for a new model, but are worried they won't get the full reimbursement for FSD on the secondary market, and the feature won't transfer to a new Tesla. Number 2. Frustrated and Disappointing there will be a lot riding on how well FSD version 11 works. As part of this next month's update, all the features for highway and city driving will be combined into one single stack software code, which should greatly reduce the underlying programming complexity and speed up the pace at which advances are made. Galileo Russell, founder and CEO of HyperChange, a sustainable tech-focused TV network, did not discourage prospective buyers from paying the higher price if they wanted a front-row seat to technological development. However, Russell expressed disappointment after a year of using FSD beta. Russell admitted he lost confidence Musk would soon solve autonomous driving, saying FSD did not make his daily commute more comfortable and offered few benefits beyond showing others the feature. He explained, I don't use it when I'm driving because I've gotten frustrated with the amount of disengagements, it's like watching a teen driver. It's cool to try as an experiment, but when I'm getting somewhere and I'm late and it's pouring rain, I don't want to deal with it doing something dumb and then me having to correct it. The self-proclaimed world's biggest Tesla fanboy does not exactly seem to be a shining endorsement at a time when customers are being asked to dig even deeper into their pockets for Musk's signature feature. Now. Here's the $12,000 question. Is the full self-driving package worth it? For most people, the answer is currently no. However, since Tesla offers a $200 per month plan, if your Tesla has hardware free, you can try out the subscription package, otherwise, upgrading will cost you $1,000. Although autopilot or cruise control can be useful when driving on city streets, they are fairly rudimentary and drivers must still acknowledge traffic controls if there are no lead vehicles in front of them. You still need to pay very close attention to what is happening. Probably the most useful feature beyond the standard autopilot features is auto lane change, which makes changing lanes far safer, but that's a lot of money. According to the Tesla 2019 Autonomy Day Summit, the most significant promise of full self-driving was the release of more self-driving features in 2021. However, that's a pretty long shot. It's unlikely we'll see a fully autonomous version of full self-driving anytime soon, which means an attentive driver will always be necessary. Instead, expect more driver assistance. Even so, there's no doubt that the advanced driver assistance features will continue to improve in the full self-driving package, so if getting those updates is important to you, the package may be worth the cost. Reaching that point brings us to the end of today's video. What do you think about the Tesla FSD price hikes? Is it worth buying? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel Tesla News Hangout, where we talk about Tesla and electric vehicles. While you're at it, hit the bell so you never miss any of our videos, as more exciting ones like this are on the way. In the next one, I'll see you.